So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be replacing on our our Noritz tankless water heater model NRC 111 uh, we have the DV which is a direct vent that's the tankless water heater right there and the indication was on the wall on the monitoring system you see that it's flashing 92 that's code 92 neutralizer needs to be replaced the neutralizer we won't get into all that the neutralizer needs to be replaced and that's the code um, the neutralizer comes with two pages of instructions uh, I'll make copies of these also that will be available for you um, and that's that's the other side of, the, of those instructions and I'll make those available in uh, uh, during the video. The next thing that um, I want you to know is this is the thing that we're going to be replacing. This is the neutralizer. And the important thing to remember also is that these, this has limestone in it. It's called and, and when it's electrically energized, it becomes calcium carbonate. So you don't want to get that on your skin or in your eyes. So take those precautions. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the front cover off. I've already taken a couple of the screws off. So I'm just going to take the others out. In accordance with the instructions, um, the first thing we want to do is disconnect the power from the unit. And then we're going to drain water from the neutralizer using the drain valve located under, underneath. That drain valve is located right here. That's the drain valve. And as you can see, that drain valve right there goes inside to right there. And there is the neutralizer. And you can see the last one I replaced in 424 of 2017, right there. So that's what we're replacing, and here's where we need to drain the water. Now I'm using really good quality rubber gloves, just because. I added the short pieces of hose just to redirect that uh, the fluid as it drains out of the neutralizer. the water is drained out um, we need to disconnect the relay connector and then remove the fixing screw and then remove drain hose one and two so the next thing we need to do is disconnect the relay that's connected up under here and you can see that there's a, uh, a wrap control uh, that holds these wires together and these are the wires that come from the unit right here there's a uh, a purple green and two whites. The purple green is the factory use only. We don't use that one. This is the one we want. So when taking off this connector, it's a real problem. You have to stick this stick a small blade up inside this thing and then pop that off pop that connector off in order to get it apart <laughs> just 
got it apart and I can't get it out. And the connector comes apart. Now those are free on top. The next thing we're going to do is remove the drain hose one and two. So if you see in here, there's the drain hose from the bottom of the unit right there at the end of my finger. You can see that. And here's another drain hose right here. And then there's another drain hose or a hose right here at the end of my finger if you can see that. We're going to take off those and then we'll and this set screw right here, this holder screw, and then the unit will come out. Take out the holder screw. Hang on to that part. Then what I recommend is a pair of angled rent uh, pliers so that you can get a hold of that connector at the top and take that hose take that clamp off. That's two. This is one. And then the one in the bottom can be done with your fingers. Now we get the wires out of the way. Take this hose off. lower hose off off once you get it loose take off the upper hose careful of all these little wires to get it on you and take the old unit out. See these little notches right here? They fit in slots in the back. So when you're taking it off, when you get a hold of it, just lift it up and pull it out. And there's the old unit right there. Okay. We're going to transfer this tubing to our new unit. All right. So once you get the unit in, uh, put inside, and in it's in its uh. Um, those three little notches are in in the back. Put your holder back in.
angled needle nose pliers are almost a must in this job. That was the top hose. Now I'll put the, this hose on. Remember, we put the uh, the lower drain hose on the unit first because it's a real bear to uh, get it on back there and attach that to the drain valve located right in there. And I'll put that uh, back on. And close the drain. Reattach our wires. Factory use one doesn't get used, just this one. Take our wire bundle and put it up underneath the strap. Now I visually inspect everything to make sure everything looks right, that all my wiring is inside the unit, nothing outside, it's not dirty. Um, if there's any water inside, if there's any water inside from the from the neutralizer, I just get it out. And if we drained it properly, there should be very little water inside. I have very little inside there, just a couple of drops. And I'm also getting some of the dust out of the inside of it too at the same time. The unit looks really good. So now, in accordance with the, um, the instructions, is um, is to do the resetting of the unit. So to reset the neutralizer life counter, we've replaced the container, the neutralizer, and then after we connect the power, we have 10 minutes with the unit turned off and no water passing through the unit. Press the minimum manifold pressure set button. and the maximum manifold pressure set button at the same time. They're located right there. Can you see that? Those two buttons right there. Okay. So this when we do that, we're gonna hold them at the same time for 10 seconds and the fan motor should come on and the gas valve unit should cycle on off and then the reset procedure is complete. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the power back on
You heard that? That's the fan. That's the fan motor coming on, and the gas valve unit cycles on off every two seconds. You hear it? That means the reset procedure is complete. Now, we tune the unit back on. Remember before we had it flashing and 92 was showing? Now it's not flashing and it's reset. The computer's been reset. The last thing we have to do now is close up the unit. And that's how you replace a neutralizer and a Noritz NRC-111 with the help of my amazing assistant. Thank you. I'll make sure I have copies of this uh, instructions for you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you.